What's doing? Welcome back. Something a little different today. Let's go and have a look. So what we have, stock is a Rock Isuzu D-Max. It has an intercooler upgrade, uh, hard pipes, that's it under here. It uh, has a snorkel and a catch can. Uh, 32 inch tires, stock exhaust, heaps of canopy and stuff for camping and getting away on. So it's a little bit heavier than normal. Uh, but other than that, it's, oh, it's got an air locker and bits and pieces, but mechanically stock. No exhaust system, no big injectors, no turbo, nothing else like that. So the plan is, I'm gonna show you what a stock car can do. I'm gonna try and do it through the different makes and models. Uh, I've got one here in Isuzu today. I think I've got another one for Triton tomorrow. So we'll try and go through those things so you can see what to expect from a stock car with a tune without pushing anything too hard. This guy is doing a lot of camping and touring, so he doesn't want to chase big numbers. We're going to give him like a little tow package where you can have nice, good, responsive torque down low. We're not chasing stupid numbers up the top where he's not going to be anyway. Uh, be useless, break things, and it's just not worth the effort. So let's get stuck in. We'll run it up, see what it does stock, and then we'll have a tune in it, and we'll compare the two, and we'll have a chat about it. All right, so we're sitting inside the car. Uh, this customer conveniently has a quad lock holder on their uh, on their A-pillar here, so I can use my phone to hold on there, and we can talk to you guys and have uh, my hands on the keyboard so we can get some things done. All right, so we'll get this car up to fourth gear. It's up to temp already. We'll turn some traction control off uh, when I can find the button in these things that's under here. So just turning traction control off. Hold in for 30 seconds just to get it all turned off and we're good. And let's run it up. So we'll go through. First. Second. So when I'm looking up here, I'm just looking at the screen. So we're in fourth gear. Might put a window up so you can hear me a little bit better. All right, we're in fourth gear. Uh, I'm getting up to about uh, 59, 60 k's an hour, and we'll lock the dyno in to hold that. All right, so that's holding in fourth gear. It's 59 k's an hour. We'll load this up, roll in the throttle. We're seeing about 13 pound of boost for. We're going to 11, settling down at 24, 23 to one. We'll let the dyno go. We'll rev this thing out to just over four grand. Oh, that's when I look at the Dynashift. Okay, so after run, run, I've uh, got 104 kilowatts, 366 new meters. That's so that top line's your power, the bottom dotted line is your torque. Uh, so let's bring up the AFR on one side and the boost on the other. All right, so there we go, there you go. So you can see we, our AFR is this side, so that's our solid line. So we're starting at 25s and then it comes down to 22s and go back to 25s. And our boost started around that 10, 11 pound mark and sat at around a 20 mark all the way through there. So what we'll do now is uh, we'll get the laptop out. We'll get a, have a bit of a play of a tune, we'll get a little bit more out of it. This is still got DPF in. Uh, we'll probably just turn the EGR off so we don't have any contamination coming through. And we'll uh, get it run up, see what it does, see what we come out with, and we'll monitor boost and AFR and keep an eye on that. We'll do a couple of runs, make sure everything's okay. And then uh, we'll let it cool down and uh, we'll have another chat. Okay, so that file's all been written in. Uh, I probably will say on this one, uh, we, uh, we use KESS. So we use KESS. Uh, he just plugs into his own machine into the OBD port. You get asked a lot, what program do you use? What software do you use? So the difference between this and then like, like my petrol tuning I do, uh, Haltex and Lynx and all that sort of stuff, there's no live tuning. This is all uh, tune it, adjust it, load it, try it, see how it goes. Uh, we obviously have a bit of a base map where we know where we can go with these. Uh, and then if there's any adjustments that we need to make, such as injectors, turbos, intercoolers, exhaust systems, uh, air boxes, any of those things that change, then we have to obviously change for that. And it could be three runs, it could be 10 runs. Uh, we, you know, we have to take a calculator change and go, okay, we've seen this amount of boost, let's change it with this percentage and run it out and see how it goes. We graph it all on the dyno, we can log it all with our software here as well, and then we can man manipulate, man manipulate, manipulate the change uh, to make that in the system, and then we load the file in. Uh, so let's get it unplugged, get it ready to go on the dyno, we'll let it warm back up, and uh, we'll run it up.
All right, so that was a run there. Uh, we've done a couple of little adjustments to it and did a good run on it. It's come out really, really good. So let's go and have a look at the screen, see what we've got. All right, so red line is stock as it came in, 104 and 369, and now we've got 141 and 513. So this solid line here is now our fuel line. So pretty much mirrored what we've got there from factory and brought it down. So starting out at 18, it hits out 22, and we're sort of averaging around that 20 to one range. So nice, safe power, uh, nice, safe fueling. And our boost is the same, we just upped it a little bit. So it's peaking out here at 25 pound and it sort of tapers out in control. So basically the same thing, we just mirrored the factory tuning, just give you a little bit more boost, we get a little bit more fuel and uh, we'll get some more power out of this thing. Now instantly I know what you're gonna say is, what the hell Shane, you're giving it more fuel, how's it gonna be more fuel economy? We need the fuel there to make the power uh, and we're giving it boost as well. The EPF's in, so we can't go too much on either of those. Uh, and we need to keep what the factory curving is there to make sure we look after that DPF. Uh, more fuel doesn't always mean more fuel consumption. Uh, it's actually, I'm gonna try and explain this here. Uh, more, more throttle is what causes your fuel consumption. So we're making more power and torque, more so more torque. Uh, so more torque, less throttle, less fuel consumption. Uh, but we need the fueling there to make the boost. We need the fueling there to make the power and torque. So yes, on the graph, our AFR is a little bit richer, but in having a little bit more fuel there, we can make that a little bit more torque, which then creates less pedal, less effort, better fuel consumption. Hopefully that sort of works out for you. I'll have to try and do some uh, videoing on that so I can show you the before and afters. This is what, this is what I have to deal with. All right, so after that short interruption from Jess being a Pelican, absolute Pelican, uh, this D-Max is all done, ready to go. Uh, so this should be a really, really good car, fuel consumption wise, plenty of power and torque there without changing anything. Sand exhaust, he's got Safari Snorkel on which I showed you. So Safari Snorkel. Uh, it does have, like I said, the intake pipe upgrade, which is great because these intercooler hoses do explode. They get all soaked and blow off. Uh, so they're really, really good upgrade. It does have a bigger intercooler down in there, uh, which will help with those intake air temps, but otherwise completely stock inside here. And as you can see, the car is generally pretty stock other than 32 inch tires. Uh, and it has a fair bit of weight in that canopy gears. There's a fair bit of towing and touring. Yeah, so that's it. D-Max, 4JJ1, uh, super easy to tune, super, super reliable. I love these motors, they're really, really good. Uh, highly recommend to anyone who wants one, yes, get one. Uh, if you want to do upgrades, if you want to do exhaust systems, if you want to do injectors, if you want to do turbos, you can do all those things. Uh, that power figure and torque figure that you see there will go astronomically higher uh, by adding extras on, uh, but this customer doesn't want that. I'm back in the future, back from the future. I got to the end of the video and I realized I didn't show you the power and torque Look at the graph so you can actually see the main part you want to see. Uh, so yeah, like I said, 104, 366, 141, 513. So now the dotted line here is your torque factory. So look at this big gap here, now you've gained this torque all the way through the rev range, all the way through. Our power is the same, you pick it up from 50 kilowatts through to about 80 kilowatts there, 80, 90 kilowatts, and carry that through that whole percentage range. Uh, I'll throw some numbers up on the screen here somewhere, what the actual percentage gains are, but off the top of me it's about, was well, it must be about 40% there, and there's a big chunk of change in the, uh, in the newton meters of torqueage. Uh, so yeah, some good gains for this one. If you're like this customer, it doesn't want any uh, upgrades at all, just keep it stock. Just give you that little bit more torque, especially with carrying a little bit of weight in the back. Got a caravan in the back, if you're towing a car, whatever it may be. Uh, that little bit of extra torque is going to help you get along. Uh, and also that little extra torque is going to save you some fuel consumption as well. So that's it for me today. Hopefully it's a good video for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm just trying to get a little bit of technical stuff on there for you. Show you the before and afters on stock cars as well as the stuff we do with the big G turbo stuff. Uh, but you know, just trying to show the other guys there that we can just do stock stuff. You don't need to upgrade. Uh, if you do want to do that, give us a call, 5491-4626. Otherwise, see us on our socials. Let me know what other cars you want to see. If there's anything you have particular you want to see, Rangers, Hiluxes, Tritons, I don't know, anything, let me know. Uh, we'll get them on, try and get a video, do them stock so you can see what they are. No absolute changes at all and so you can see what gains you're going to get out of it. That's it for me. Make sure you hit that like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.